All right, y'all, what is good? We are officially back in Arizona and out of the jungle, as you guys can see. So a little recap on the trip. Honestly, just worked a ton out there. I planned on doing more like activities with all the guys because it was like kind of a mastermind. I met some like random people from just different states, but we all just ended up like locking in. A lot of us kind of like can work hand in hand in a couple things. So I was working with a couple of the guys out there. The only few things which I'm about to talk about right now are like one, the Wi-Fi is not great out there. Most places you go to doesn't have great Wi-Fi and you don't have like cell service unless you're connected to Wi-Fi. Another thing is the corruption. Just about every other day I was getting pulled over by the police for being white. It's actually crazy they basically pull you over they'll find a reason to give you a ticket and then they'll extort you for money but aside from all that besides like the police the wi-fi it's a really cool spot i will also say like you have to be prepared for kind of like third world country type of stuff like it's all dirt roads not a ton of super nice buildings but then it also has like its little hidden gems kind of mixed throughout there. So yeah, overall, super cool trip. I'm just really happy to be back. I kind of got sick of it. I was ready to just work. I feel like I can't get super, super locked in all the time when I'm like on vacation traveling in this like little party mode. So now that I'm back, feels really good. My car, the Beamer, is still in the shop until Monday. So recap on Mexico, flew back yesterday. Let me tell you guys about these flights. So I flew back with my boy Logan and it's like basically a full day of travel when you're going from Mexico back to Arizona. You do like first flight to Dallas, then you go from Dallas to Arizona. And long, long days of travel. So our first flight was super chill, no complaints there. Second flight though, mind you, these are, we flew first class. So second flight, first of all, was just like a really old plane. The flight attendant didn't really know how to speak well on the intercom. I feel like when you get in the plane and the flight attendant's like fumbling their words when they're trying to talk to everyone, immediate red flag. It's like this flight's gonna suck shitty service we're about to experience a ton of turbulence so that's how the tone was set like right off the jump i'm in my seat like i said there's like there's small first class seats for some reason it's like if you guys have ever flown on a plane where it's they have one row on the left it's like all single seats and then the rows on the right are doubles it was one of those planes and the meals were just mid i get this cheese plate i literally watched the girl like open this little charcuterie kit dump it onto a Dump it onto a plate. I was like, oh, nasty, bro. But anyways, enough of me complaining. We made it back. I'm so happy to be back. I can't wait to lock in. Right now, we actually have a Discord call going on. A pretty slow morning, honestly. I just uh, unpacked last night. Woke up kind of early this morning. So we're gonna get into something. I'm gonna pick up the camera when I'm doing something entertaining again. So we're already like back to the grind. I just got out of that call. That was like an hour long call with Ronan. Fucking killed it. And then right now I just filmed some TikTok job videos. As you can see, this is my page. It's that same Michael's Wellness page. I ran it up honestly as like an experiment more than anything, but it started printing. Like I'm making a lot of money off of it, so I'm just gonna keep it going now. I'll show you guys. I just posted like two more videos. These two I literally just posted five minutes ago. So we'll see how those do. Account is cooking though. Across the border getting pretty good views. And then I also just made some personal TikToks for this account right here. Like tip and trick videos though. Pretty chill. This is like my uh, like my burner on TikTok. More Dutch, and then this is my main main. And this one gets no views though for some reason though because we run ads on it. I'm pretty sure when you run ads on like a TikTok account, it destroys your organic reach. So this one's organic reach just sucks. Like I'll average like 500 to like 200 views, like 300, 300, 600, and then you put spend behind them, and that's where you see all the views. This one though, where we don't want like this other account here this other account i don't run ads on does way better organically for some reason like everything kind of breaks like a thousand views so yeah kind of what we've been up to i'm gonna go hit the gym though get some back and buy in oh, and then after the gym i have like a course module to make a couple tiktok ads to film Sauger gets back from Tulum today. We got back a day early, so he comes in tonight i gotta pick him up from the airport maybe all the boys will go out to dinner or something we'll see but yeah right now i'm gonna get ready for the gym Hit a little lift, see you guys after. All right boys, so it's a little bit later in the day. It's like three or four o'clock right now. Probably looks like I haven't done shit, but I just got back from the gym, just ate some food, called some people that I love, made sure everyone's doing good. And now I'm gonna lock in on some work, film those ads. I filmed those TikTok videos already. And then I have some like other, like just like software shit to do, boring stuff. But real quick, I got a package. So let's go find out what it is. Cause I have no idea what just came. And then I think we're getting stronger after this. All right, boys, sick surprise. So basically what this is, is anyone who joins Coaching for Stay Viral, we send you guys like a personalized box. So I'm gonna show you guys what you get. And if you guys are in coaching right now, you guys are getting one of these sent to you as we speak. Let's check it out. So we got the fucking, I think this is sick, the Stay Viral tape. This is fucking badass. 
I'm actually so hyped for these. We've been working on this for like a pretty long time now. Hi there, and welcome to joining our community. We're thrilled to have you join us in this exciting journey to become a and visible affiliate. It's a simple operation to empower you with knowledge and skills against a monetized work you use to with confidence and build a lasting skill set in content creation. We're going to help you learn how to go viral and have to stay viral. Content is the way of the future, even with the onset of AI. We're going to help you at the forefront of everything alongside us. Don't forget to join our calls happening multiple times each week, where you can value insights and guidance from these resources. Participation and being served is everything in this game. We're here to support every step of the way, and we can't wait to see the amazing content you create. You're one of our VIPs who wants to an awesome gift. We'd love to see yourself in the box shirt and light down just for general chat. No, we also have a second gift for Save Our Lee Hat that we send out once you get your first $1,000 in the community. Keep us posted on how you progress once you get $1,000 earned. Let us know which channel we can hook you up. Once again, welcome to Save Our Best Regards, Michael and Ryan. And then boom, you get this little ring light right here. Bang. And then last but not least, these are such sick shirts. So if you guys know, Shockwear, best quality t-shirts. And then we got a little Stay Viral printed right here. Looks so good, bro. There you go. Sick. Good fit too. If you guys know Shockwear tees, these are like the best blanks. They are like super thick, oversized, they fit great. So you get Shockwear blanks, the light, that mess. Cool to see this thing grow, guys. It's really cool to see this shit grow like day by day. But anyways, I'm gonna go hop in the shower, lock in on some work, get some stuff done, and then I'll come back when we're doing something fun. Just filmed some ads, took a shower, feeling, feeling really good right now. But I'm honestly like, I don't have a ton to do. I mean, there's always shit to do. Like I could be scripting videos. Damn, that's loud. There's always stuff to do. Like I could be scripting videos, making more videos, TikTok shop content. I have like a course module I still need to make. But for some reason, I just wanna like read right now. There's this new book I got, Conversations with God, book one. I don't know, I just wanna read. So I'm gonna go up to my rooftop and I wanna read a lot. Like I might go read for like two hours or something, but that's what the move is right now. Let's go up to the rooftop. I'll show you guys the little view. It's really nice up there, total vibe. All right, boys, it's hella chill out right now. Out here at the pool, it's a total vibe. Reading some. But yeah, like I said, probably gonna lock in here for a little bit. Just read, relax, calm the mind. I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, boys. So I just read like I about like a half a chapter of this book. The craziest book I've ever read in my life. Tripping right now. All right, boys. What's going on? Happy Sunday. I basically forgot to film all day yesterday. After I read, end of the night was basically just like me knocking out some work. I had to do some like software stuff, worked on a slideshow. And then I picked up Sager from the airport. He's back from Mexico officially. <clears throat> Today is Sunday though. Happy Sunday to all you guys. I'm about to go to church real quick. You know, go pay it forward to the man upstairs. None of this would be possible without him. And yeah, that's just honestly my start for my Sunday. Today's a super chill day. Sunday's always like my reset day, so. Gonna go to church, come back, go to the gym, and then just get into some deep work, probably go grocery shopping like Trader Joe's or something, get some food for the week. And yeah, pretty chill day. Boys, so we've been back from church for a little bit. Honestly had some drama this morning with the team, had to like work some kinks out. Everything's good now. Just been posting some TikToks. And I know it's like super boring, you guys probably don't wanna see this, but this is like, this is the raw shit, bro, that I'd be doing. So let's see what we got going on for the day. All right, boys, so a lot has happened since the last time I picked up the camera. Uh, one of the people on my team, one of my boys, Devin, he pulled up to Arizona and we just like hung out for the last like four days. Kind of like a little bit of a blur, didn't really do much work. Not super productive, but it was all good. We just turned up, had some fun, got to meet each other. So many things going on, like I can't even, I can't even express all the moving pieces right now. We're trying so many different things. We're testing a bunch of different things. Offer kind of had a weird month for September. Like honestly just wasn't even close to the numbers we did in August. So we're really trying to change some things, just fix like our marketing, our messaging, and just like growing pains because we're trying to scale this thing. I will tell you guys though, a bunch of people on my team have recently told me like stop the vlog, stop doing this type of content. And I don't know, I'm in kind of a weird toss right now because this is shit that I genuinely enjoy to do. You know, as much as I love making money online and I love educating you guys, I think it's really fun to just like pull the camera out, show my life, and talk to you guys. So. I'm kind of going against the grain here. Everyone on my team has told me don't make these videos and I'm still going to fucking make them. So you guys better, you guys better run these videos the fuck up. Otherwise, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Also, I booked a flight to San Diego. I probably shouldn't have. I'm going to be honest. I've only been in Arizona for like probably less than a week or a week tops. But my mom's birthday is on the 7th of October. So I got to fly out there, get her a little gift, go say what's up to everyone. And then I'm coming back here. I'm making it a quick trip. Thank you. All right, guys. We're to up next week. Alright guys, have a good weekend. Thank you for coming Wednesday. Take care guys.
All right, boys, first call of the day done. Little 11.30 a.m. call. Now I gotta pack and we go to San Diego in a few hours. Oh, more calls, boys, more calls. Yo, yo. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, y'all, you're probably gonna hate me, but this is where the vlog is gonna end. This is just so much random footy stacked up from me going to Tulum, coming back from Tulum, going to San Diego, one of my business partners coming to visit us here. I went to San Diego twice in the span of this like video there, all the footage that I filmed. So just super random, super sporadic. So this is gonna be part one of the first vlog. I'm gonna continue it. It's not just gonna stop here. I'm still gonna do something with the footage. But yeah, guys, this is honestly the real side of this. This is like an authentic couple weeks in my life. This is what it really looks like. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of just boring stuff that you probably don't want to see and don't want to do. But when you do it, it compounds extremely hard and it creates this beautiful life for you. So hopefully you guys like these kind of raw, authentic style vlogs. But it's uh, today is like the 25th. My birthday's in two days. And my buddy who came down to Arizona from Tampa, this time we're going to Tampa for Halloween and we have like a fun trip planned. So I'm going to film everything. We're going to make a really fun vlog. I'm supposed to leave to San Diego tomorrow as well. Go see my parents for my birthday. So I'm gonna go Arizona to San Diego for like three days, see everyone for my birthday. And then from San Diego, come back here then to Tampa. And we're there for like a week or two. That's the plan. I'm gonna film it all. Aside from that though, that's all for this vlog. Look forward to part two and then Tampa vlog after part two. But yeah, boys, we're locking in on YouTube. I have so much content coming out. I have like two TikTok shop videos coming out as well. Stuff for like affiliate marketing, just tips and tricks, stuff to help you guys be better as content creators and make money online. Aside from that though, guys, if you like this video, subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment down below if you wanna see anything new. Appreciate you guys. Peace.